Hello everyone. This is the video of Business Studies Class 12, Part A, namely the principles and the functions of management. Unit 1, namely the nature and the significance of management. The chapter that we'll discuss today in this video is the concept of coordination. In my previous video, I've discussed about the functions of management and in this video, we will study about the concept of coordination. So let's begin with the topic. I hope by listening the word coordination, something must be running in your mind. So can you all tell me what does coordination mean? Yes, anyone? Okay, no one? It's totally all right. First, we'll check the meaning of coordination. So, in English, it means the process of organizing people or groups so that they work together properly. And secondly, it also means the harmonious functioning of parts for the effective results. Now, let's check in the context of management. When the organization structure is created and departments are designed, managers coordinate the activities of these departments to achieve the organizational goals. Top managers communicate organizational goals to the departmental managers and help them to carry out the functions of planning, organizing, staffing, directing, controlling for their respective departments. Likewise, if again we check the English meaning of coordination, then we will find that the meaning given there that is process of organizing people or groups so that they work together properly. And secondly, it also means the harmonious functioning of parts for effective results. Here, in the management's context, it has literally the same meaning. So we can say coordination refers to the process through which the various functions of the management are synchronized towards the common goals and objectives of the organization. It is said to be the essence of management. It acts as the binding force in the organization in the sense that it unifies the efforts of various individuals in the organization towards the achievement of common goals and objectives of the organization. Now we'll go through a definition of coordination. According to EFL Breach, just I'm pointing out the name again, that is according to EFL Breach, Coordination is balancing and keeping together the team by ensuring suitable allocation of tasks to the various members and seeing that the tasks are performed with harmony among the members themselves. See, I'll repeat the definition one more time for you. According to EFL Breach, coordination is balancing and keeping together the team by ensuring suitable allocation of tasks to the various members and seeing that the tasks are performed with harmony among the members themselves. So, in this definition, we did not find anything new. As it is saying, the same points that we have discussed about, right? Now we'll understand the characteristics of coordination. See, the first feature is to integrate the group efforts. What does it mean? It means that all business activities are interdependent. Therefore, there should be coordination among them. And coordination enables the business to make efficient use of its available resources. Unification of individual efforts from different backgrounds and with different styles of working in a common direction. They should work in a team. This is all about the first feature says that is to integrate the group efforts. The second one is to ensure the unity of action. What does this mean? Means that all the departments in an organization coordinate with each other so that the common goal of the organization can be achieved effectively and efficiently. While achieving the goal, the actions of the employees must be coordinated and should go hand in hand. 
as it enables the manager to secure the unity of action in the direction of a common purpose. The third feature is to maintain the continuity, a continuous process. It simply means coordination is an ongoing process, starts at planning and continues till the controlling and delivering the products or services. A manager has to coordinate continuously all the activities of different departments in order to meet the targets by using the available resources efficiently. The fourth feature is to maintain its all pervasive function. It simply means coordination is required at all the levels and in all the departments so that all the functions can be performed harmoniously. As the fact is, all the activities of the various departments are interdependent on each other. It is all pervasive functions which run through all the managerial functions from planning till controlling. It is not only needed among the different departments but also within the departments at all the levels. Now, we'll proceed with the fifth feature that is to ensure that all the managers are working in the harmony and completing their responsibilities sincerely and honestly. See, you all must be remembering that we have studied the levels of management and at every level, the manager has to pay equal attention in the company, right? The top level manager has to coordinate with subordinates. In the same way, the middle management and as we discussed, that is the bridge between the top level and the lower level. Hence, the middle level coordinates both the levels of the management. So, it is said that it is the responsibility of all the managers. Now, the last but not the least function, which is the sixth feature of the coordination is to deliberate the functions. Coordination is deliberately performed by all the managers as managers always try to coordinate the activities of the organization. A manager has to coordinate the efforts of different individuals working in an organization in conscious and deliberate manner. Hence, coordination brings unity of action and it integrates different activities of the organization. Now we'll proceed with the importance of coordination. Coordination means to integrate, that is to bring together all the activities of an organization. It is done for achieving the goals of the organization. So, there must be a proper coordination throughout the organization. So, the first point is growth in size. When the size of the organization increases, the need for coordination also increases. This is why many people are working in a large organization and individuals have their own requirements and objectives. So it is necessary to bring all their efforts jointly to achieve the common goal of the organization. In this situation, organizational efficiency is important to harmonize the objectives of employees and employers through the proper coordination. Second point is the functional differentiation. In an organization, there are different interlinked and interrelated departments. Coordination is required to bring together the activities of different departments towards one common organizational goal. Also, it helps to minimize the differences among the departments. Now, the third and the last point is specialization. As there are a number of specialists working in the organization, employees work in their own way. This results in a chaos and misunderstanding in the workplace. So coordination helps in coordinating the activities of all the specialists in the right direction and enables the achievement of the organizational goals. Till now we have studied about the nature of management, levels of management, its importance etc. Now we'll see how actually the management works in the 21st century. The management in the 21st century is a global management. The entire world is a global village where exchange of technologies, goods, services and labor among the countries take place. To have a more clarification, check the following roles of a global manager. 
first in the capacity of a country manager it means capacity to meet the international bodies clients and government offices for international operations second in the capacity of the functional manager it means skills to select the right techniques resources and manpower across the globe the third in the capacity of a business leader it simply means able bodied to make changes in the business as per developments and trends in the global environment so these are the basic roles of a global manager i hope you are clear with what we have discussed in this video likewise we have completed the unit first however before winding up this topic let's have a quick revision regarding what we have studied in today's video so we have studied about the concept features and lastly we have studied the importance of the coordination so i hope you have all understood the concept and the whole unit which we have discussed through these videos till now however if you have any query or any questions regarding the same topic you can comment in the given comment box below 